welcome back at Skate to day two of the school year. I'm Riley. I'm Alejandro. What you just saw was the band performing one of the songs they'll be playing at, at the halftime during tomorrow's football game. I can't wait to see them perform in person this year. Though, the dance number they did la last, game's week, last week's game was pretty cool. Maybe Dan should be scouting the band for some new dancers. Maybe, but we can talk about that after the show. First, we got the news. Starting things off, the DECA Student Store, aka Loba Froya, will be reopening on Tuesday. Check out their assortment of snacks, drinks, DECA cookies, and frozen yogurt. Oh, and yes, they do take cash and card. On the topic of food, lunch is next. Here is a reminder of where you can and cannot be during lunch. Green is good, yellow is okay if you're heading to an office or the book room, and as you can guess, red is off limits. Here are the lunch times. Remember, you have five minutes from the end of your lunch to be back in class or you're considered tardy. So if you have first lunch, you're considered late at 11. There are still a few more parking permits left for students. If you want one, please come to the security office during non-class time. Any vehicle parked on campus without a permit starting Monday will be ticketed. Any vehicle parked in visitor or staff will also be ticketed, regardless of whether or not you have a permit. The only places students are permitted to park is the first two tiers in the north parking lot, the main student area of the north parking lot across from the pool and the softball field. You need a permit to park in the softball field area. It is not free. If anyone has any questions regarding parking, please do not hesitate to ask Mr. Ledoux or Mr. Tahili in security. Last night, ladies golf team faced Curtis. Kayla, Leilani, Annabelle, Morgan, Brooke, and Byla all put up a great effort against a team that had two state finalists. They hit the links again on Tuesday. Returning and prospective wrestlers, there will be a preseason meeting next Wednesday after school in Stage 3. Make sure to attend if you're wanting to hit the mat this summer. The theme for tomorrow's football game is blackout. Make sure to dress up in all black if you're going to attend. Freshmen, there's a treat for you if you show up to the game. Some free ice cream, thanks to Link Crew. Supplies are limited, so make sure to show up Bring your ID and show your SK pride for being a part of the show up for SK. If you're planning to attend any SK home games, keep the following in mind. You can get in for free with your ASB card. If you don't have it, your name will be on the list. If you don't have an ASB card, you can always buy one. You can always buy your ticket online ahead of time. Leave your backpacks at home or in your car as they will not be allowed in the stadium or gym for games. Do not bring drinks or water bottles to games. They will not be allowed. Also, remember, once you leave a game, you will not be able to return. If you can't make it to the game, you can still be a part of the action with hashtag SKTV underscore shout. Cheer on the game, cheer on the, cheer on the team, a player, the band, or others, and have it aired during SKTV broadcast. Just tag your clip with a hashtag SKTV underscore shout, or submit the clip to tinyurl.com forward slash SKTV shout. While individually, well, individuality is encouraged here at South. We are in school and still have a dress code. That was scarring. In other news, freshman elections are coming soon, and if you want to run, you can apply now. Packets are available for pickup from the ASB office. There will also be informational meetings next week on Wednesday and Thursday in room 102. Hurry, the intent to run form is due next Friday. Seniors, if you are thinking about going to a college or a trade school, start your application process now. You can also start the financial aid application as well. If you need help, see Ms. Nass in the Career Center. Underclassmen, it is never too early to work on Zello and your high school and beyond plan. Start early so you're not in a rush come June. Tuesday, Cal Lutheran University will be by to provide help with Common App and the college application site. Later, they'll provide info about the university. Then Thursday, a former SK student will come and share info on University of Jamestown. Sign up in the Career Center if you'd like to attend. We have a lot of news in the wonderful world of clubs. First Interact is looking for volunteers to harvest apples in two weeks at Howe Farm. If you'd like to join, contact Mr. Disney. 
Looking ahead, Magic the Gathering will start Monday and will meet in room 319. Show some honor and show up. Woodshed Skills USA kicks things off on Wednesday in room 177. DECA will get things rolling next Thursday in room 261. Poetry also gets going next Thursday in room 332. Adoptees United Club starts in two weeks in room 337. If you are an adoptee or you are a member of a foster family, join AUC for fun conversation, community, outreach, and support. Contact Ms. Daniel, an adoptee, and adopt the parent with any questions. And German will start in a few weeks in Portable 12. We'll be talking about even more clubs next week, so stay tuned and save the date. September 28th is the annual SK Club Fair. Whoa, that was a lot. Hold on, we got two more things. Director? There was some confusion yesterday about buses. Here's where your bus will be after school today. Make sure you get to your bus ASAP. They will leave at 2.07 and they will leave with or without you. Next is about passes. When you have a pass to be out of class, it, it needs to be visible. This means you can't just stuff bathroom lanterns in your pocket. Remember, lanterns are for bathrooms, planners are for everything else. Okay, I think we're done now. Great. Director, roll the scroll.